What's up, what's up, what's up, it's your boy Demo Domato. We're back with another video. Today we're watching Beyond Dragon Ball Super, the Demon Army Revive. Beers gets his revenge on Goku and Vegeta. Alright. Alright, so this is uh we finally will get into well, this is the second part of the demon whatever. The demon what's demon realm. And uh yeah, this is this story's kinda good so far. I like the first chapter. And so we can get into the second chapter, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to Unreal Gaming. And uh I'm trying to get to fifteen hundred by the end of the year. You know what I'm saying? So let's do that. And uh so let's go. As our story continues, during the midst of battle with Mastered Ultra Instant Goku now being shown having to chase down Primal Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, with Vegeta now being shown having to maintain balance and breaking his fall, it was only upon having to address Goku where Vegeta went on to tell him, You seem a little eager to end our fight, Kakarot. Is doubt beginning to finally Kakarot. settle in? That's quite ironic coming from the guy who said he'd knock me out before I'd have a chance to touch him, in which it was only upon the moment of impact with Vegeta and Goku now being shown striking each other with such tremendous amounts of force that not only had resulted in a massive shockwave having to echo throughout the landscape but neither one of the two Saiyans were willing to give up during the course of this battle as Goku went on to address Vegeta by telling him I'm not backing down against you Vegeta you aren't going to beat me your body will burn itself out before mine and then you will lose I won't quit you clown you'll have to kill me if you hope to walk away as the winner vegeta oh, says shit. Kill that nigga our fight here today i am the strongest and it'll only be a matter of time before your ultra instinct runs out but then it was from out of nowhere during the midst of their battle where a voice had gone as far as to capture their attention by shouting you saiyans have disrespected me for the last time how how dare you, Dimwits, ruin my perfectly delicious ice cream sundae! Gah, get off of me, Kakarot! Look there! Wait, is, is that Lord Beerus? It is, Goku says, but why is he coming right for us? He doesn't look very happy, Vegeta. As indeed, Goku is right, because with Beerus now being shown having to make his way ever so closer oh, towards shit. both Goku and Vegeta, it was only during his act of anger as he was making his with way that towards hit them him with that Beerus shit. went on to shout, Of all the possible times that you two idiots could have picked a day to fight you sure did manage to pick the wrong one and now i'm going to smash both of you just like you smashed my sunday you little disrespectful inconsiderate brainless piles of saiyan trash and beerus meant business because with beerus then being shown smashing his way into both goku and vegeta by punching them in the stomach it was only upon both goku and vegeta being shown having to grasp for air where beerus went on to continue now you saiyans are in for it serves you right for ruining my perfect day oh come now lord beerus don't you think that may be a little extreme with beerus responding oh shut up Whis. at least you were able to enjoy yours i've had it with them as within that very moment with both goku and vegeta now being shown having to make their way back down onto the ground by holding onto their stomachs while both confused and in tremendous amounts of pain that was when goku went on to respond i i don't understand what did we do oh my entire body is shaking Organs. God, th this is all your fault, Kakarot. Is it? I have been too easy on you, Saiyans, and I no longer stand to put up with your sudden and random acts of disrespect any longer. I never needed you, idiots, and I never will, Beerus went on to shout. Earth is all that matters, and so I've had enough of you. If you think that I am honestly going to stand for this, then you are gravely mistaken. What, what is he talking about, Goku asks? What is he about to do? Hey. Hey, Kakarot, look, he's not bluffing. As with Beerus now being shown having to create an energy ball up above that his head, Beerus, mad about his ice cream, Beerus bro. went on to continue, I'll make sure that Earth that remains will destroy, while will I destroy, destroy Earth you both. So just try and change for my pudding. mind if you can, so. because you won't. I'm going to see to it that you Saiyans never disrespect me again. Whoa, just look at all of that power, Goku says. What's gotten into Lord Beerus? What 
what did we even do? Has he lost his mind or what? It doesn't matter what it was, Kakarot. He's going to do it and we can't just sit around and wait for him to just destroy us. In which with Beerus now being shown creating a gigantic energy sphere up above his head, neither Goku or Vegeta even from that point on were willing to back down from this as Vegeta was shown creating an attack with Goku by telling him, We've got no other choice, Kakarot. Gather your energy into your strongest attack and fire at that energy ball. I'm on it, Goku says. I hate to do this, but it's for the best. Ready when you are, Vegeta. This is for my ice cream sundae, Beerus went on to oh, shout. Shit. But then, it was only seconds upon Beerus having to be shown firing the ball down at both Goku and Vegeta, where all of a sudden Beerus had gone as far as to stop, which not only had now gone as far as to prompt the question as to what was going on, but as Beerus was shown clenching his fist and vaporizing the attack above him, it was only from there where Beerus went on to ask, Whis, did you sense that too? Yes, strangely enough, I did. Let's go, Beerus says. The sudden energy signature that appeared wasn't that far away, and so I want to know what that was that we just oh, felt shit. now and what just happened. Let's move. Forget about the Saiyans, with Whis responding, Right, then we'll take our leave now. Luckily, whatever that was has appeared within this galaxy, so it won't take long. To which with both Beerus and Whis now being shown having to leave the Earth, it was only from there where Goku went on to comment, Hey, so, uh, what do you think that was all about? I don't know, but it doesn't matter, because he's gone now, Vegeta says. Consider it mercy, otherwise things would have gotten extremely messy here if we fought him, with Goku responding, Well, I mean, between us, though, don't you think we would have beaten Lord Beerus, considering that, well, you know, we're stronger than him now? Yeah, well, he doesn't know that, Vegeta adds. And besides, <laughs> oh, he has oh, ultra shit. instinct now, too, so we shouldn't rule him out just because. Oh, yeah, that's right. He used it against Myrna a year ago, right? Out of all the I'm things that could have went wrong today, I had you right where I needed you, and I was going to knock you out if it wasn't for him. You need to watch where you're fighting, Kakarot. If it wasn't for you punching me into my own damn building, then Lord Beerus wouldn't have been disturbed and our fight would have concluded. Pay attention the next time we fight, with Goku responding, Hey, you can't be serious right now. You were the one who decided to ram me through the lookout, Vegeta. Everything was fine until the door blew wide open. Cut me some slack here. And besides, it's not like we knew that that was going to happen anyway. So whatever, I don't want to hear it. Hey, lighten up a little, would you? What's gotten into you lately, Goku asks. You seem a bit more jittery and angry than you usually are, with Vegeta responding, Oh, please, Kakarot, don't act as though you don't know why, especially since it wasn't that long ago that we nearly lost everything. Do you remember how powerful that angel was compared to the rest of us, Kakarot? He ripped us apart out there, and he did it without breaking a sweat. That itself should be more than a wake-up call for you to understand our position. Well, I didn't forget Vegeta. I mean, yeah, he was a lot stronger than any of us, but we still managed to hold him off long enough for help to arrive, right? Wrong. That maniac could have wiped us all out if he wanted at any moment, but he didn't because he was too busy enjoying himself at our expense by torturing us one by one that until we all fell. Drawing our blood is what he wanted. Not even our Potara fusion was able to put up much of a fight, and by then we were already maxed out even while using Ultra Instinct. The point is for us to be on guard just in case another enemy like him were to one day suddenly show up. Though the chances of someone as strong as Myrno popping up to face us are extremely low, we can't risk being where we are without evolving, with Goku right. responding, No, I remember, but facts. then again, come to think of it, if anything like that were to ever escalate to such a level like it did with Myrno, then there's always the Grand Priest that'll be there to help us, not to also mention the fact that his supreme omni form is practically unbeatable too. You saw what he did to Myrno, right? So I don't think we have much to worry about with him on our side, but then again, do you think it's even possible for us to reach such levels of power in our lifetime? So oh, you idiot, Vegeta went on to shout. Damn, we man. can't always count on the Grand Priest or the other angels to be there in case something happens. Unless the situation were to involve them directly or risk the fate of the entire multiverse being destroyed, they won't help us. Wake up and stop being so carefree, Vegeta shouts. We will never stop evolving as warriors. We may not be able to reach those levels of power overnight, but at least we'll be one step closer 
closer towards doing it if we train. Now get it together and let's head back to the lookout so we can resume our training. The less time we waste, the better. Didn't you also mention the fact that you wanted to evolve your Ultra Instinct as well? Well, I want to evolve my Primal Evolution form too, so let's go back and do what we gotta do and stop being so comfortable. As in the meantime, while this was going down when then going back to Beerus and Whis, it was only upon traveling to their designated location where Beerus went on to put the situation into question by asking, What do you think that was, Whis? Could it have been one of the other gods of destruction who were passing through? It was probably Champa again, wasn't it, that slob? I honestly don't think it was any of the other gods of destruction, my lord, but we're about to find out right about... Oh, well, now, that's odd, we says. There seems to be nothing here, Lord Beerus. Uh, what do you mean? But that's not possible. What do you mean there's nothing here? The energy that we felt surging was right here, Beerus says. Uh, wait a second. Wasn't there a Super Dragon Ball here in this very spot as well, Whis? There was, wasn't there? With Whis responding, actually, come to think of it, I believe there was. Huh. Now that's strange. I don't like this, Whis. Dragon Balls, especially of that size and power, just don't subtly go missing, Beerus says. Let's head back home and see if we can figure out what's going on around here. Let's move, Beerus says. Well, not to mention the energy that was felt coming from this very spot seemed oddly different, too. In which from that moment on, with Beerus and Whis then shown going back home, Beerus went on to further put the situation into question by asking, I doubt any of the mortals in this universe are capable of capturing such an object without being noticed, so we can rule them out for now. And if the energy that was felt didn't come from another destroyer, then what exactly was it? As unbeknownst to the both of them, mm. as they were shown leaving, there was a gigantic dark portal now being shown emanating from behind them, as it would only now appear as though Beerus and Whis were not the only ones that were beginning to detect something very unusual going down within Universe 7, because as we then make our way on over to the Supreme Kai homeworld with Kabito and the Supreme Kai shown playing chess, oddly enough, the Elder Kai was shown staring off into the distance as the Supreme Kai went on to tell Kabito, All right, Kabito, Game 7 begins now. I'll go first then, so I hope you're ready to take another loss, with Kabito responding, Oh no, not this time you won't. Hey, Kabito, have you noticed anything strange going on with the Elder Kai? He's been shown to be unusually quiet for a few days. Good, Grant, what have, you got actually, going on? Kabito says. Is everything all right, Elder Kai? Shin went on to ask. You seem a bit concerned. With everything going on out there, the Elder Kai responds, you should both be very concerned as well. Wait, what did he just say, Kabito asks? Elder Kai, Shin responds, what exactly do you mean by that? Is there something wrong, Elder Kabito asks? I'm not quite sure as to what exactly is going on out there, the Elder Kai says, but I know that I can't be the only one who is sensing this disturbance. The 12 universes have seen peace since the Evil Angel's destruction, but I'm afraid something else is lurking within the darkness that we have yet to come across. Something evil. Listen to me, both of you, the Elder Kai says. I want you to put me in contact with Whis immediately. It's better to not waste any time either, so forget about this game you're playing and hop to it. As we from there now make our okay. way over onto Beerus' planet, with Beerus now being shown thinking, it was only from there where Beerus went on to ask, I don't get it, Whis. It was there one moment, and the next it was just gone. And the energy that was being emitted from whatever that was felt very different. I haven't felt energy like that since I was ushered into becoming Universe 7's God of Destruction. Uh, strange. It felt very dark in nature, Whis went on to chime in. So it most certainly couldn't have been a mortal nor any God of Destruction or Angel crossing through from another universe either. And what's even more alarming is that whatever came into this universe had left by taking one of the Super Dragon Balls with it. Uh, this itself is no easy feat to achieve. It couldn't have been Champa again since his energy would have been recognizable. Now, I highly doubt that it was Champa too, but hang on, it looks like we have a call coming through, Whis says. Ah, it's the Elder Kai, with the Elder Kai chiming in, my apologies for the sudden call, Whis. But did you and Lord Beerus sense that strange energy too? 
Why, yes, we did, we says. But by the time we arrived in wanting to find out what it was, the energy that had been okay, coming from okay, that hot spot had vanished. We stay on oh, time, though. we felt the same thing, the Elder Kai says. I had been closely watching and paying attention to what's been going on out there in the universe, and I'm afraid something's very wrong, he says. I went and found the old book just in case there was something inside of it that could point towards giving me the answers that I need, but I can't seem to find anything that would match what I've been sensing out there. Would you happen to also know if you still have your book as well, he asks. This is only book one of two, so I take it that you must have the second. Perhaps maybe one of these may have the answer. Did you say book, Beerus went on to chime in? And what exactly is this book that the Elder Kai is talking about, Whis? I'm rather curious to know now, with Whis responding, has it really been that long? Don't tell me that you've already forgotten, Lord Beerus. The ancient book of the fallen. You were instructed to read it a long time ago, Lord Beerus. You did read the book, right? So, oh dear, that look on your face says it all, with Beerus responding, well, it must have been a pretty boring book then if I can't seem to remember it, Whis. Must have been one of those which went on and put me to sleep. We should not waste any more time then to get down to the bottom of this mystery, the Supreme Kai went on to comment. I've been getting a very strange feeling as of late, so it's best if we all go now, he says. The young Kai is right. Let's hurry up and find out, the elder Kai says. I've got special plans later, you know. Well, how could you possibly have plans when special all you do is later. read dirty comics all day, the Supreme Kai asks. Oh, quiet, you. That is the plan. As it was only then <laughs> where the Supreme Kai was then shown using instant transmission in bringing everyone on uh, Earth it's to Kai Kai. planet, Hold but on. unbeknownst to everyone on the Supreme Kai homeworld, it only appears as though a dark portal was shown emanating from a distance, with a very ominous and strange creature being shown having to watch from the other side, it was only upon having to carefully observe them where the devilish creature went on to respond, you foolish little deities, there is nothing that any of you can do without me knowing. So, you're all suspiciously curious about what you felt, are you? Huh, the general and dark masters ought to know about all of this, he says. General Raiga! General Raiga! That was fast. Were you able to locate the Kai's and secure a pathway to their homeworld has? The entry portal is secured and remains undetected, General. However, upon my search, it appears as though the Supreme Kai of the Seventh is not alone. He is shown attending and being attended to by two others, Has went on to respond. One who goes by Kibito, the Supreme Kai's attendant, and another old Kai who seems to be the universe's Elder Kaioshin, with Raiga responding, an Elder Kaioshin, you say? So there are two who exist in that universe. Very interesting. Good work on securing a line that points to their world. I'm sure the Dark Masters would love to have a word with them both. Make sure to keep your eyes on the portals that are opened. We don't want any sudden accidents to result in their destruction, he adds. We need them open and hidden for the time being across the entire multiverse, Raiga says. With the gates opened, the bridge into and back from each of the 12 universes will be the greatest method in eliminating the gods world by world once our master is awakened. And with the Dragon Balls found, we will stop it nothing to possess it. And as I ready the armada, okay. we will use the old ways once the order has been given by the Dark Masters to strike, with Haz asking, our numbers grow larger and larger. Shall I gather the others to forge the next bridge with Raiga responding, go, and make sure you are not seen or followed by anyone. And if you are to find yourself engaging against any of those mortals, do be sure to bring back a sample of their blood for us to use a against them. A sample of their blood. As it was only right then and there during that what moment the where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of the dark... Shout out to Unreal Gaming for this chapter right here, boy. This is... I like this one. I like... Uh, like they sneaking around and shit. Well, like Beerus and the Kai's are trying to figure out what's going on. I like it. I like it, man. Uh, I like I like the slow burn. Like the the build. Up. I like the build up. I like a nice build up. You know what I'm saying. But anyway, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to get to 1500. Shout out to Unreal Gaming for this video. Check out the last chapter right here, or the first chapter right here. Check out another video right here, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.